hello everyone good morning and welcome back to my channel it's uh you see blessings and if it's your first time on my channel feel free to subscribe like share and watch some of our other videos so liking this video will help recommend it help youtube recommend it to other people that is good to watch so today i'll be talking about parenting and i'll be sharing tips around the toddlers and preschoolers my children are of this age range and so whatever i'm seeing here is just typically out of my experience that i'm sharing today we're just going to share grooming them with the word of god grooming them with the word of god our children need to know the word of god what god says and um it should be part of their life the bible says that we should teach them and let this word be like a necklace on their neck let it be their go-to because the world that we are in right now does not even promote the word of god a lot of things we are putting into these children there there is a competition out there they are bound to be influenced by other negativities and so we must become firm in our teaching of the word of god of the right morals and values to them we must keep in instilling keep on instilling this discipline so that it can become part of their life no matter what they face at all one word you hear from your child in fact i just had this recent experience my child seeing a word that i had not taught him and so i was very surprised and i was so sad that that word had to come out of him i had to trace until i tracked where it was from it was from the exposure he had uh, he had out there and so i doubled my effort on teaching him the word of god teaching him the right values double teaching him every day that's when i say double i mean that i began to repeat the teaching more than before so just so i can get the result that i want consistently i've been getting positive results all along i've been hearing good testimonies and when this one now happened a negative uh, word that dropped out there uh, i knew oh i need to double my effort on these parents mothers fathers we need to double our efforts on mentoring on teaching our children number one way is that you can make it fun for them write the word of god on cardboard sheets which is what i'm doing right let's paste this around their room so that they can see it and seeing is believing whatever they see will get instilled in their heart and so number two you need to teach them in the morning and in the night during your prayer devotion me i have family devotion every morning and evening we pray we even pray when we come back but strictly morning and evening we talk about good character we talk about one or two things um that we want to share from the word of god but about character character is usually on the go any moment we can talk about character any moment that there is a negativity we can correct it on the, on the spot that we do our own training so i don't know the discipline that works for you whatever you're doing in your homes try correcting on the spot don't leave it till later don't say oh let me not uh, disgrace or embarrass him in the problem let me go home well if you decide to go make sure you remember to do the correction at home and don't let one activity or the other to teach you the correction is supposed to happen it's still not on your child so make sure to always correct at the spot or later and don't fail to correct that do not forget it it is very important to you A to Z of the of uh, the characters values that we should have as Christian, they will be created, in, especially the value and the character. On is something I'm working on, which I'm sharing. I want mothers out there, please let us try this developing uh, A to Z the uh, character. Let me just share from the ones I have developed that A starts with artistic. A child of God has to be artistic, has to be able to um, create things, art through arts, works. Number B, 
to be means that you need to remember you are beautiful just the way that you are this one will really help them with their self esteem beautiful for girls and handsome for boys beautiful that um you must remember that god is beautiful for all situations you know when you say god is beautiful for all situations means that all situations that god is there for us god wants to always uh, show us his kindness in whatever we do and then see see means that you are courageous as a christian as a christian boy or girl you have to be courageous you have to face your fears you have to confront that's it confront your challenges you don't run away from it you don't um, um become a coward okay so three words you don't become a coward you always confront you always courageous you always face whatever it is head on number d is that you are daring you are daring you are able to dare whatever comes your way and that's even similar to being courageous there is that you don't give up you have to keep on try keep on trying that thing number e is that you are energetic so go ahead from your own words from your own characters of the bibles as a max of a child of go form it with abcd when you say abcd something that they are familiar with already and then you teach them that number number the, f- the next tip is that we don't have to give up on training our children let us not feel discouraged like the experience that i shared i, I began to feel discouraged oh doesn't mean i'm not doing oh she said that i'm doing so much what did i need to cut down so i can show her that after assessing myself i saw that i had enough time with them you know to show them love i already canceled there's a lot of uh, things i had to let go to sacrifice because to see that i'm available for them so this available time what do i use it for that is what you ask yourself that is what we have to use the time we have with our children productively teaching the word of god teaching them sound morals and um, doing their homeworks with them even it comes to nurturing children parents we take first it is our roles first i was reading a book from by my small role uh, i was talking about is a book on parenting and then he said that the art of taking care of a child first comes to the mother and the father the parents of the student is the first person that should take care of this student first person no other person and so we should not allow any other thing to come first before our parenting you know this thing i'm saying to you is what i've said to myself i have to be always available for these toddlers and preschoolers i shouldn't let anything hinder me from um, going through with it going through with this job this god giving parenting job may we excel in it in the name of jesus so my toddler moms and my preschoolers i want you to comment right now share me your ideas how have you been going about you had a negative word and um, how did you correct it share with me write it down in the comment box don't forget to like this video i have done other parenting videos on my channel please go and check it out and tell me your thoughts don't forget to like this like this video like this video so that it can be suggested to other mothers like us finally finally the next tip is to go out with them now children's day is coming up i remember a video i did last year about children's day i shared some fun places and things that we can do with these children but at home and outside i'll put a link on the description button please go and check out that video so as this one is coming up right now that is coming up next week monday i wanted to plan fun activities for your children take them to amusement parks you know there are already some um children event that is already being created so look at it check it out see the one you can participate or you, you can enroll your children on and make the decision for them you know they need to go out they need to be exposed they need to make other friends um, you know and even when they this this particular going out and making friends you need to really take them to the part and see them associating with other children see how they are behaving monitor them not just taking what the teachers or their caregivers at school tell you now you're watching for yourself and say it and this is what i'm planning also by the grace of god